version of the sporting celebration is Unite 2.0, and it's just what the country needs to lift it from its somber mood. Fellow sports people want the nation to participate and to remember, but mostly to move forward. Tata used sports to unite this country. That's why now we're carrying his legacy. And I urge all South Africans to come out in numbers on the 22nd to take part in honor of Nelson Mandela, our former state president, and in honor of Senzo and other sports men and women that has left us. Sports you know, it plays a role in uniting all of us and also to remember our fallen stars, you know, uh, our late stars in Bulan, and Bulan, Laozi, uh, Senzo Mayua. Uh, they, they, Unite Day is, is a good day to also to, to, to remember them as well. On the 22nd of November at the Union Buildings, there will be a 5-kilometer walk, a 9.4-kilometer walk or run, a 27-kilometer run, and a 67-kilometer cycle, each distance holding special significance in the life of Madiba. And an event to resonate with the who's who of South African culture as well. We as a people, we have to stick together and just come together and remember that people like Nelson Mandela uh, need to, you know, have inspired us to stay positive and uh, stay building our country and stay, you know, moving forward. This day has given people an opportunity to take part with personalities of what they like. So for me, it is very important because it's a unifier, the glue that bonds us to the people. Nelson Mandela was such a lover of sports, music and the youth and bringing everything together on one day. I think everybody out there should support her. I think it's going to be an amazing, amazing day. It's 11 months since South Africa lost the father of the nation. The process of remembrance promises to be a celebration. Uh, that's your sports news. Simon, thank you very much indeed.